against Nova Esports. Town Hall legend took a commanding 13 to 11 scoreline yesterday. A massive 91% overall damage on their side of things. Let's see if they can keep up the pace that they set yesterday, or if just like in their war against Euronix Gaming earlier today, they're gonna slip back and falter. Nova Esports will be the first to attack. It's gonna be Tomas95, the only three-star hitter from this Nova squad yesterday, looking to start things off strong. That's right, Woody, coming in with this Zap Lalo. If you remember in the second matchup for Nova, Ignore that. Ignore that. I got the wrong stats. But it's a lot's going to come in here with the Lalo diving in the heroes. Uh, the Royal Champion goes down from the single. Queen's going to look to get the other single and the Royal Champion here. And she gets the single down. Can she get the Royal Champion? That The offensive Royal Champion did not get much there. That single burned her up to a crisp. And here we go with the Lalo phase working in right through the Town Hall area. We're gonna have those Lava Hounds tanking for those balloons out in front. But remember, the Town Hall does not activate until it takes damage or there's 51%, but we will have that blimp come in and the blimp will drop on the Town Hall, which will activate it as those balloons are closing in. As we just saw in the last war between Unicorns of Love and 11 Original, one single target Inferno standing up on the backside of the base can be the end of a three-star run and kick you down and out. Let's hope Tomas has got a plan for that last remaining one that the Royal Champion couldn't take down. A deep charge from the Archer Queen is going to get another few shots off here, but the Inferno is already starting to burn her up and she doesn't have an ability. She'll be going down, Bash. This is looking really strong here. We do still have that one wizard tower and we still have a Tesla farm, but there's a lot of balloons up, tons of minions, tons of pups. We do have that headhunter coming in to help out with that enemy king. Woody, this has got a shot, but that, oh my goodness, that Inferno burning up troop. Wizard tower dealing damage. That Inferno is about at half health, but look at the Ooh. amount of pups, minions, and that dragon. Will it be enough if they could stay a little bit out of range of that Inferno Tower until they clear these other buildings, they should be able to finish it off. This is going to be a close finish. Tomas did have that 99% in the elimination match. Oh no, Woody, a high 90 attack again it's looking like. This is going to be devastating. That balloon drop from Tomas, almost enough to get the job done, but just like we saw the last war, it's that one final single target Inferno that stands between Tomas and ultimate victory. The 99% two star, a grim possibility for Nova Esports as the final attack is underway, but no dice. The dragon is burnt up and they're going packing home with this failure. So devastating for Tomas, back to back, 99%. Oh my goodness, that Inferno. And I believe it was an Inferno the last time burning up the Warden. Oh, that is devastating. It had such a nice push through there. Just not quite enough to finish off those remaining defenses, those last few structures. But still, that is a really strong start as far as percent points goes. We'll see how Town Hall Legend responds as they're going to start hopping in here with their first attack. Will we see a lot more Yetis? Will we see a little bit of a switch in their attack? It looks like we have a hybrid attack coming in. For this first one from Han, just a standard hybrid. No zaps or no lightning spells here, Woody. That last result is great news for Town Hall Legend, keeping at bay the best attacker from Nova and denying that three star. But not in their favor is the fact that that percentage is going to remain high for Nova. They're probably going to have to try to force out a win on getting triples the old fashioned way. Here comes Han with that queen walk early on. Drop that Rage spell in an aggressive spot. Keeps that uh, Archer Queen nice and topped off. Thanks to so many healers backing her up. She should get a chance to dive into this top compartment and take that Town Hall down early. Oh no, Woody, she's going a little bit sideways here. She comes back to the Wizard Tower. We do have that Clan Castle pool. We got some Headhunters, which are gonna slow her down a little bit, along with that Lava Hound. We might have to invest another Rage. There it goes. Another Rage coming in. Those Lunners do get poisoned and taken out, and that Lava Hound is just gonna stall this Queen Walk as we approach the one minute mark on this attack, but the hybrid does move through the base pretty quickly, especially with the clan castle troops being dealt with, but looking to get this town hall with the queen. Will she go back in or will she go down towards that archer tower? That is the question that remains to be seen. Here she goes. She's going for that bow and I think she's gonna go away from the town hall here, Woody. Will she come back? No, she's gonna go right down to that archer tower. And that's what we're seeing so much on these bases. It is so tough to get into that single opening for these queen charges or these 
hero dives or the kill squads, whatever they are using, they are struggling to get into these single compartments from all, all the attackers throughout these wars. But here we go with the hybrid right at the town hall. We'll see that Grand Warden's Eternal Tome protect these hogs and miners as they come in here. The Royal Champion is going to work through, help out, get that scatter shut down. But we have a lot of heavy defenses on the middle and the back end of this attack. Unrolled the dice with that Archer Queen, but came up with Snake Eyes. Couldn't get her in on that Town Hall, but she'll still get some nice, decent value on the outer edge, pathing along uh, some exterior buildings and finishing off a few more defenses while Han's main force, these Hog Riders and Miners, are crushing the interior of this base. Really great entry point for Han. I'm only a little bit worried, though, about the time now. He's got less than a minute left and only uh, has no more abilities left to use now with that last shield being thrown by the Royal Champion, knocking it over onto that uh, Inferno Tower. But I'm still concerned, Bash, that that last single target Inferno in that left compartment could cause trouble at the very end. With so many miners, I think he's got enough uh, insulation, though, to get the job done. This is looking like a triple. It's, it's got a shot here. We've seen those Eagle Artillery staying up at the end be an issue, but will this one be able to get through here? Last three remaining buildings. Woody, this is going to be so close down to the wire. That Inferno is burning up the miners. Oh no, the Inferno locks oh. off the warden, but it's going to have enough. Seven, five Adam. seconds, Carver. Woody, oh my god, go, 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 go. Three star, I can't down. believe it. Oh, they did it. Right down to the Han. wire, Han from Town Hall Legend managing to clutch up that 100% three star. That is so unfortunate for Nova Esports not managing to come up clutch. But yeah, the revenge of the single target Inferno, apparently we are going to be calling this qualifier, Woody. Wow, such a powerful defense, staring you straight down with a beam of death lasered straight onto that Grand Warden, but with that return fire and knocking apart a gold storage with not even a split second left. Awesome job there to Han, gonna put Town Hall Legend back in contention here, seeking to advance to the playoffs. Look, it's just one more building that Town Hall Legend destroyed relative to Nova, but what a difference it makes, Bash. That one building is key. That attack was so intense. I forgot where I was for a second. Oh my goodness. Crazy attack. We're going to have Garrix coming in. It looks like we have lightning spells. So we'll see that Zap Lalo zapping out the clan castle right there. Man, this war. So much hype. That one building difference is so key. That is the difference between a whole star and not. Let's see if Garrix can respond and get Nova back in the game with a three star of their own. We got the world champion working in that ice golem. Gonna freeze up that scatter so that the world champion can get plenty of value. Look at that seeking shield taking out those buildings to make sure she can get this scatter shot down without having to invest any more freezes or any more spells. Great value from this world champion dive here on those defensive structures. Yesterday, Garrick's got a two-star 89% and then a two-star 82%, so he's yet to score the triple for Nova Esports. Running in with a Lava Hound Balloon Cop, it's starting to remind me of the 2019 meta. This is a lot uh, more standard, kind of old-school approach to combat here, re relying on three tanks out in front. Should have a long uh, path through this base and won't have to rely too much on these uh, hero dives, but knocking down this multi-target Inferno early on will give a lot of room for these balloons in the back end to get the job done. Couldn't reach the Eagle Artillery, but that's okay. Look at the value those heroes did get there, Woody. The one thing that has changed, you mentioned the old meta, Lava, Lava Hounds and Balloons has been a strong attack for a long time, but with the Lightning Spell getting a whole new revamp and only taking up one housing space, we're seeing that become really prominent in the game, and we've seen that in a lot of these matchups, and we got a mass of balloons. It's a balloon parade coming at the Town Hall here, Woody. That Stone Slammer is gonna backtrack for the Tesla. Looks like the Warden ability has popped and the Town Hall is gonna fall. Balloons barely protected long enough there that enemy royal champion chasing down the hound and she is going to do some work to these balloons in this core can they get past her in time the enemy queen as well these balloons are going to have a rough go of it in the middle freezes the scatter shot but out of spells now woody i don't like that scatter shot being up at the end here queen down to half health but there's nothing else to deal with her now the enemy royal champion is even starting to get a few spears uh, shot off at these remaining cleanup troops on the backside. Finally, a dragon's gonna move in to engage, but being attacked by an eagle as well. This aerial combat goes in favor of the defense here. Han from Town Hall Legend just scored a triple of his own, and now he's gonna hold off on defense against Garex, keeping Nova uh, at bay. 
That's right, Woody. This is a huge defense. Being up that, that one star on the triple there is a massive, massive lead because the percent doesn't matter after that. You just got to hold them at bay on defense and do your jobs on offense. This is still going to be a pretty quality percent as we look to get 86, maybe 87. Nope, going to... Oh, yeah, 87. There's that last minion. 87% here as this attack fades into oblivion. A very nice attack from Garrix, but that scatter shot and remaining defenses with the heroes proved to be too strong for those balloons. Remember, those balloons going to only target defenses, so they just went right past those heroes, and they got taken out pretty quickly. Yeah, you got to lean really heavily on your dragon or minions, lava pup, something to finish off those heroes. That's really a great opportunity to incorporate a headhunter into your army, something that we've seen quite a bit uh, with hog rider attacks. So maybe next time we'll see uh, someone using that instead uh, of bringing a couple extra balloons. That's right, Woody. We got Valky coming in next. Looks like we have a straight, oh no, it is a Zap Yeti. Zap Yeti seems to be Town Hall Legends go-to attack. Something that we saw that was pretty unique on the first day and they are still leaning on it. And nice value here from that Zap. Getting out that single target in front of, but the Warden, the Warden has to pop the ability. Oh no, Woody. Oh no, the Warden has to pop the ability. That is gonna be devastating for this Yeti push. Got great value out of the lightning spells and earthquake, but without the Warden ability, those bowlers and yetis are going to take massive damage as they push through the town hall. A terrible disaster for Valky, losing out on one of the best offensive tools in his kit. That eternal tome popped early. It's going to be a big downside, but still possible to get the three star if he plays this perfectly. Going to have to get expert pathing through this base and only has one jump spell to stay on target. Let's hope for his sake that these witches can give some strong backup to this Yeti Bowler comp because they are really going to need it, Bash. Yeah, and you see all these troops are going to be right at the Town Hall as it explodes. That's going to deal so much damage. The Bowlers were able to stay back. Balloons fell, but that's not a huge issue. The Bowler staying up is massive there. We got that Lava Hound slowing things up. Eagle Shot coming in, dealing massive damage. The percentage is working. Still has the Queen and the World Champion's abilities here. But here, is the world champion even in? I don't think the world champion may even be in here yet, Woody. I'm oh, wow. ahead of myself. But that He's queen, what the queen? Queen is she, held back. He's been held off to support the backup, uh, the witches up on the top. There she goes, knocking down a Tesla farm. Not bad value, but geez. Valky really came up short on the main stage of this attack, barely getting past that two-star point. Uh, surpassing the 50% damage threshold, but there's no army left for this hit bash. This is going to really drag Town Hall Legends percentage down and give Nova some breathing room here. Uh, they're still going to be ahead in stars overall, but the percentage race is going to be really difficult for Town Hall Legend to win if Nova can make the comeback happen and score a triple. That is very accurate, Woody. I believe that Warden ability getting popped early was the de most devastating thing to this attack. You never want to see that. Those Yetis took so much damage. The Queen was held up on that Lava Hound and just did not have a push through here. But remember, if they win on stars, percent does not matter. So if they can hold Nova at bay on defense, they will still have the advantage as we see here. Five stars to four moving into these next attacks. A tough pill to swallow for Valky from Town Hall Legend, only coming away with a mid two two star percentage there. It's quite a difficult one that, and, and you know what, Town Hall Legend have actually jumbled up the, the players that normally take the lead. Valky has, uh, has attacked first both times during the second qualifier, so maybe they've tried to change things up because obviously they uh, are now in the elimination bracket, but Woody, I mean, Nova, Nova have an opportunity here, right? That's certainly true. There's only been one war of this month so far where the winning team had a lower overall destruction. That was the last war that we just saw between Unicorns of Love and 11 Original, in which Unicorns of Love led by 1.6%, but had a smaller uh, star count. If Town Hall Legends can do the same thing by picking up an, an additional triple, but uh, being behind Nova on percentage, that would really be a very surprising result and not what we would expect from this match at all. Nova still has a clear shot at getting a triple just at some point in the next three hits. Franco will be their next man for the job. And it looks like we get that queen trying to charge into this town hall compartment. This one was proven to be tricky in the previous wars, but these types of bases are always a pain, but the queen's gonna be able to pop that lava hound and then she should have no issue getting that town hall down as the king is clearing and actually tanking a little bit for the queen, taking a little bit of pressure off of the queen as she deals with those lava pups, but there is an expo on the healer. It's gonna lose a healer here. Freeze goes down on the Town Hall and that Expo, but Queen 
still having to deal with these lava pups. She's going to have to speed it up because the Town Hall is burning up those healers. They're going down. The Queen's ability is forced with that Eagle shot. Here comes a hybrid oh. from the top stage. That Queen goes down. Oh my goodness, Woody. She did not stand a shot with all those expos and that Eagle shooting her. She went down rather quickly there, but we got the hybrid pushing through the top side of this base. Roasted and toasted those Queens and healers are well done now, and they're finished off in the bottom side, barely taking out the town hall. They got that first job done, but this is going to be a high and mighty task for Franco to finish off. Pog oh, Rider's no, starting to storm in. The Royal Champion branched off here. The Royal Champion went south, away from the main phase of the attack. She's going to be on her own, and she's not going to have anything to tank and support her. Oh my goodness, it's going to force her ability, and then she's going to go down. Meanwhile, the hybrid's going to get destroyed up on the top side. Oh my goodness, Nova. That, that is not what they're looking for. They need to get a three star at some point. That Royal Champion just went sideways and really threw this attack off. Oh no, this one is going to be similar to what we just saw from Town Hall Legend as far as percent goes. We're talking about the percentage factor. This will definitely bring down Nova, Nova's overall percentage. Bad news all around. They just saw Valky get that two star 67% and hope that they could bounce back and get a shot at winning. But wow, Franco is just about going to get the exact same score line as that previous hit from Town Hall Legend. They will retain that percentage advantage, but Town Hall Legend are going to have a chance to pull far and ahead now with their third attack. If they get a triple, it's going to be almost impossible for Nova to make the comeback happen. They'd have to get back to back three stars and hold on to defense off the last couple of attacks from Town Hall Legend. Franco not delivering the win that is. Nova Esports needed at this really crucial time. And we got to say it again, Bash. Nova Esports is the world championship squad. Now, this is not the same five player roster that got the world championship lineup, but when you are supporting a team with such a big name, there are huge expectations uh, to live up to and just not uh, do it at this time for us. Nova Esports haven't gotten that three star that they've been so desperately looking for yet, Bash. That's right, Woody. They are the world champions, but it is tough with a whole brand new roster. It makes a big change, a lot of pressure to live up to the previous regime, so to speak. And we're going to have Town Hall Legend coming in, Bibu here, with the Zap Yetis. Remember, Woody, whoever loses this match today is eliminated. The winner will move on to the playoffs tomorrow. All right, let's see what we have here. The Zap coming in. We did see a late Zap earlier. Uh, but the Zap going to come in, take out some nice defenses there. We're going to have that Warden walk. Perhaps we'll see that Warden try to get to the Town Hall. It's a pretty deep Town Hall. It'll be really ambitious and consume a lot of time. I don't think that's what we're going to go here for, but we'll have a nice funnel set and be able to dive in right where that Zap was, use that kind of as a funneling point, and then work right into the Town Hall with those two jump spells. Yeah, knocking down that single target Inferno. Bibu has learned from the previous hits that that is not a building you want to have to contend with at the very end. It's also going to open up an opportunity for this Barbarian King to go on a rampage along the bottom right side of the space and create uh, some additional funneling opportunity for the main stage of the attack coming in now from uh, that six o'clock position at the bottom. Both those Yetis and Boulders are going to be storming in hot and heavy, moving straight toward the Town Hall with a jump spell, and as Siege Barracks back them up, Bibu is really throwing everything he's got at the bottom side of the space and not even worried about the second stage of the attack bash. Woody, what we see here is we see an Ice Golem Lava Hound CC, Nova being able to adapt and know that Town Hall Legend likes those Yeti smashes, so going with a more a CC to slow them down a little bit more with the Ice Golem Lava Hound, the Town Hall does fall and the troops kind of scatter out here. Those Lava Pups are all over the place, distracting the Queen. We do have the Bullers and, uh, Bullers and Yetis pushing through the main portion, but they are getting taken out quickly as that Queen is trailing behind. We do have the Hogs coming in from the bottom side out of that Siege Barracks. But this one has, oh, this one's going to be rough to get through the backside as we have a single, two scatters, and that Eagle Artillery still remaining. Bibu lost his Royal Champion to that single that burnt her apart in that bottom left compartment. And with that Archer Queen charge into the center, this is really the last hopes he's got for this Town Hall uh, Legend team. He can't get the Eagle Artillery down, and now ultimately that's going to be the point of failure for this attack. That Eagle Artillery up in the top compartment was really hard to reach, especially when it's placed counter, uh, or what am I saying? Caddy corner to the town hall, you know, on the opposite side of the base, just raining down hellfire for over two minutes now and really uh, putting up a big roadblock in front of Bibu that he just didn't have the momentum to pump, uh, push through. 
And that's kind of what we're seeing in the meta of the base building right now. Kind of the opposite side eagle that the troops are getting there so late that it is dealing massive damage and really destroying a lot of these attacks that we're seeing from these players. Another mid-level two-star right there from Bibu for Town Hall Legend. What? Uh, it's been quite a difficult kind of war to comprehend because they started off so strong, both of them, a 99% and a 100% triple. And uh, they're just all slipping. It just seems like they're slipping a little bit, maybe losing their momentum, maybe losing concentration. What do you think it could be, Woody? It seemed to me like they wanted to get their best attacks off right to begin with. A lot of times when you get that early hit in, you develop the, the morale advantage where you feel like you've got the momentum on your side. You put your opponent's feet to the fire and force them to try to back it up with a triple of their own. Uh, Town Hall Legend and Nova Esports both sending in some of their strongest hitters in the very beginning here, and then now kind of falling flat toward the end. Nova still holds a slim percentage advantage at 4.3, but that might be enough to give them the win just if they can get that triple on board. Tatop is going to be the next attacker moving in for this squad to see if he can be uh, the one to save them. He got a triple in the war yesterday against RTK, so can he follow it up again and prove that Nova Esports deserves a spot once again in the playoffs? That's right, Woody. You brought up a great point. You get that early triple, it puts a ton of pressure on the opponent. We did see that Yeti Blim come in, take out that single, and we also got the Clan Castle pull. Look at this, four headhunters right there, along with wow. some goblins and that Inferno Baby Dragon. The Inferno Baby Dragon gonna force that queen to either be use a freeze or pop her ability. Actually, she might get to it in might enough not have time. To. Let's see here. Everything else was out in front, yet she gets to it in time. Everything else was so far out in front that she did not have to waste any more resources there. So she's going to have a nice little pathway to charge through here, get into that single compartment, and work her way towards the town hall. We have another super wall breaker still. Can Taytop use that super wall breaker to push that queen even further into the base? Here comes that freeze on that single so that the queen does not use her ability, that royal cloak, which is so massive later on in the attack. This queen charge is going perfectly for Taytop. That defensive CC not getting the value that Bibu was expecting at all. Especially with that poison spell down, that Inferno Dragon cannot heat up as fast as it needs to to knock down a massive attacker like this Archer Queen. Rolls in a super wall breaker to get to an additional compartment, and he is drilling deep into this phase bash. This is starting to look really good for Taytop. Finally, a chance for Nova Esports to return fire and put a triple up on the board. I think this is their best shot, that Queen going towards the Town Hall, but we get the hybrid working through the top side as that King came in to help set that funnel. Queen gets that Town Hall down, the Warden protected all of those troops. This is looking strong through the middle. The Royal Champion is going to be able to take down the defenses. Enemy Royal Champion going to be taken down by the Archer Queen. Here come the Hogs, here come the Miners all working through. Still has a freeze on that multi and that scatter. Last heal going to be deployed right here over that compartment with the scatter and the multi. Can the miners stay up? Queen still has her ability. World Champion still has her ability. Guys, this is looking really good. Woody, what do you think? Can this get there? Is this the answer that Nova needed? This is like a jackhammer straight on to weakened concrete. Taytop is drilling in and will not be denied. Still with that Royal Champion ability, still with the Archer Queen ability, finally popping it off in the last second, but it's basically a swag at this point. The most dominant hit that we've seen so far this War Bash, and Taytop will be well rewarded for his amazing start here. Congratulations to Nova Esports, grabbing another three-star win off this hit and pulling ahead of the competition. That's going to put all the pressure on Town Hall Legend moving forward. They are down huge on percent, 80% to 88.2 from Nova now. That was such a strong push. That Queen Charge with the double Super Wall Breaker being able to get through and get the Town Hall down. She also dealt with the enemy Royal Champion, so those Miners and the Royal Champion did not have to deal with them from the hybrid phase and just had such a strong push through. Great use of that Blimp to take down the single so it didn't have to be dealt with as well. Oh my goodness, that was such a well-executed attack. Town Hall legend needs to respond with a three star here of their own let's see what falcon has for us we got the zap yetis woody this seems to be town hall legends go to attack can they respond can they get that three star that they need here 
familiar kit for cleanup along the bottom side is going to be those two witches as well. Nice use of the earthquakes and those uh, lightning spells to take out a scattershot big heavy target that can cause a lot of damage for a bulked up raid like this Yeti Bowler uh, comp tends to bring. We've also got that siege barracks in here for Falcon. Some additional cleanup along the outer edge is going to be really important, especially since this is such a spread out base filled to the very brim with buildings along all the edges can make pathing really difficult uh, for someone who doesn't have the funnel down exactly perfect. So that's what Falcon's going to be starting off with this warden walk with it, eliminate buildings along the outer edge and ensure that these yetis and bowlers all stay right on path, Bash. Woody, this is really similar to that first base that we saw yesterday get Yeti zapped out. We were so surprised by this attack, but being able to get out, out the scatter shot and set such a funnel on that far side was massive. Let's see if that repeats itself here as this one pushes through. We do have the jump spell. Everything's getting to the town hall. The town hall is going to fall really quickly. The headhunters go down Listen. here from the bowlers. Looks like the lava hound being poisoned as well. Everything is working through. Those how the hound is going to pop, so those pups are going to hold the queen up here. But a strong push through here, but out of spells. Look at that, Woody. No more spells for the back end of this base, and we see yet again an eagle artillery at the end of the attack. Yeah, I wish that we could have gotten that royal champion in a bit sooner, but I think that it's uh, the a good result that the Hog Riders are out in front to insulate against the single target Inferno burning through. But once again, that Eagle Artillery is just raining down and there's been no way to deal with them when they're so far positioned away from the Town Hall. Players like Falcon know that they have to get the Town Hall early on or risk getting that ultimately uh, destructive one star that could end their chances right there and then. So focusing early on on that key target has really left them far behind in terms of offensive output. Not being able to knock down that Eagle means so much damage on your raid that they just couldn't sustain in the end. Falcon's going to be coming home with a two star hit off this last uh, strike and will be struggling uh, to keep Town Hall Legend alive. They've just got one more attacker left to try to tie it back up again against a Nova squad, which seems hot on their heels and picking up pace fast. An 81% two star from Falcon from Town Hall Legend. What a tough matchup it's proving to be. Nova Esports have punched back with a 100% three star and with that 99% early on in their, in their war, then that is just going to bring up their percentage difference and it's going to make them really tough to beat from Tunnel Legend. They're really going to have to pull something out of the bag here because this is crunch time. This is where they need to hold their nerve and this is where they need to make it count, Bash. That's right, Banks. A three star here for Nova and it's over. They will move on to the playoffs. Town Hall Legend going to look to hold on defense. Not quite what they were looking for there on offense, but they need a massive defense here to still have a shot. They need something a little bit lower on percentage. However, Nova with a really strong attack, even a three star can secure this one without issue. Woody, it all comes down to these final two attacks. It does. Even if Town Hall Leg uh, Legend gets a triple, they will cap out at 84.2% overall destruction. So Nova seeking to keep their percentage high. With a three star, they would be able to finish off this war with a win. But even with a strong two star, like you mentioned there, they've just got to stay above that 84.2% mark and Nova will be able to advance to the playoffs. We got the Zap Quake Lalo coming in again for Nova Esports taking down a scatter shot taking down the clan castle that way it's not needed to be dealt with later on in the attack we do have the royal champion trying to dive in here she's gonna get burned up by that inferno not using a freeze to take that inferno down will that cost us later on in the attack look how low that inferno is on health barely any hit points we'll see if the queen can get in here and get help the king get the town hall down there's a decent little path but she might get distracted i don't know that this town hall will be dealt with by the heroes all right here comes the queen nice patience there but the queen's gonna have a tough time remember those one one tile openings are so tough to squeeze the queen in and we're seeing her walk right past that woody really tough to get in there bash but he's doing his best to make it through He's doing some additional uh, funneling along the outer edge there with that Barbarian King, and he's even got a bar uh, baby dragon burping away at him. Not too much uh, in terms of defensives 
building set up there on that left side corner, and that's going to give React another chance uh, to make it into the town hall now. That one little gap out around the left side, though not enough to uh, entice the Urcha Queen in to make that hit happen. It's going to be the Stone Slammer going to kill. Woody, the Baby Dragon got one shot off on the town hall, so it was able to be activated so that Stone Slammer could come in. Remember, normally that town hall would not activate until 51% or until it took some damage, so that Baby Dragon getting one shot off on that town hall was massive. Now you don't have to worry about finishing on the town hall or getting it later or having to dive it out. It's done, it's dealt with. Now you can focus on the main Lala portion. That dragon's gonna work through, but I do notice we have that Archer Queen up and that Royal Champion up on defense. Those can be proved to be really lethal as this attack pushes through. We've seen this in the previous Lala attacks where the Queen and Royal Champion take down so many balloons. But that Eagle Artillery is just pounding away. It gets the one balloon to lock onto it, but it's still firing and still taking out so many troops on the back end, trying to get this cleanup done. But with just over 30 seconds left, I don't think that they got it, Bash. That Eagle Artillery, when positioned far away from the Town Hall, has been the blocking force so many times for this Nova Esports squad, and they will not get the three star they were looking uh, to win the war with here with a 74% overall damage. They're uh, pushing higher and higher, but I don't know how far they can take it. And I don't know if this is enough to guarantee victory. A Town Hall Legend three star might be enough to put them over the edge here, Bash. This one is still open. This is exactly what Town Hall Legend needed. They needed a big defense. A 78% two star was exactly what they needed. They are still alive. A huge attack here can finish this off. They they can win this, Woody. This last attack looks like Nova's gonna be up to the 86.2%. If they can triple, they can take this one away. They can sneak it out with this last attack. A massive defense here. Like you mentioned, we saw that Eagle Artillery dealing huge damage, having the Royal Champion and the Queen in the middle of the base, shooting those balloons down, always never a good thing. Those troops will go down quickly to the Royal Champion's spear and the Archer Queen's bow as she shoots them down from the sky. I think it's got to be a triple though, Bash. Even so. with uh, even, even with a two star 99%, that would not be enough uh, to put them over the edge. Remember, they cap out at 84.2%, and Nova Esports has got 86.2%, so Town Hall Legend needs the triple here and now. It's all up to DP, the fifth and final attacker for this war, fighting for their lives. They've worked so hard for many weeks and months even to get to this point, but the qualifiers could be over for them if they can't keep their heads above water. DP is going to be treading here, doing his best to be the pride of Town Hall Legend. He got a two-star 86% in his war yesterday against Nova Esports. He's got to surpass that and push even further uh, than he did in his war against Euronics Gaming when he scored a two-star 94%. We need nothing short of a triple bash. That's right, Woody. It all comes down to this. Three star to stay alive. Can DP come through? We saw earlier that 94% time fail with the Yetis. Switching it up, going with a Zap hybrid strategy here. But that Royal Champion gets eight alive by the Headhunters. Those Headhunters took her down, preventing her from getting any more defensive buildings down, any more damage. It looks like we got a Poison Spell and a Baby Dragon coming in here. There was a Valkyrie. We haven't seen that. A Valkyrie to deal with those headhunters. And then the baby dragon should be able to handle the lava hound and lava pups by itself. And then we will have no healers on this. This is this is more of a a hybrid without without the queen charge. So it's still a hybrid attack, just no queen charge on this one. And with the zaps, you don't have quite as many spell spaces. So that's my, why we may see more of just the heroes kind of come in and suey and get what they can. We do have a nice pathway for the hybrid to get to the town hall. King and queen are in. Everything in. It's all on the line. It's all in. Let's see how this one goes. Oh, Woody, we're working towards the town hall. DP, all the pressure. How can they respond? Town hall legend, all the marbles. Town hall falls. We need a three star, Woody. Let's see what happens. We've got to get in here and now. Defensive Archer Queen's going to start popping away at these miners, and they need to lock onto her and take her down fast. It's going to be a big giant bomb exploding right in their faces and massive damage striking onto DP's forces. He's just got a minute and 14 to make this show happen. He started a little bit late on this attack, and he can't have any more delays. Moving in fast and pulverizing these defenses along the top side. He's got two free spells left that he can use against the Seagull Artillery. Boom! Frenzies it off. The blizzard has struck, and there's no more shots for that eagle. 
Boom, he needs another one right now. That's a lot of damage stacked up on those hogs. Giant bombs exploding left and right. And I don't think they can get through these last couple skeleton traps, Bash. Oh no, Woody, it faded so fast. It was looking so good until the heroes got stuck on a wall. Remember that Royal Champion was used early in the attack. If the Royal Champion was here with the hybrid, she would have been able to support it. Maybe enough to be able to get through these defenses. Queen still has her ability, but with only 30 seconds, and it's gonna be tough for DP to get through these remaining walls. It is looking good for Nova moving into this final Last push through the attack. Oh my goodness, Woody. It looks so strong, but those walls looking to hold those heroes back. Oh my goodness, the hybrid just got taken out. The heroes weren't able to support it, and that's what made this one fail here, Woody. The king, only thing really up here. Oh no, Town Hall Legend, not quite what they needed. A 79% two star, they fall here. Town Hall Legend not quite managing to get through to the playoffs tomorrow. So that is a huge congratulations right there to Nova Esports being knocked down into the elimination bracket and then being able to drag themselves back up by the skin of their teeth with 11 stars apiece. Nova Esports just clutch up with that percentage difference. Let's take a really quick look at these stats here, Bash. This war was really back and forth. They came out strong with that three star from Han and Taytop was able to bring